installment of In the Kitchen with Dr. Will. We've gone off-site. We are not at Miami Spiner Performance. We are in Aventura in the kitchen, and I'm going to talk to you guys about some lunch and dinner options. So in the first video, we talked about some snack options, right? Protein bars, protein shakes, uh, fuel for fire, things like that. Uh, the second video, we talked about breakfast. Now we're going to talk about some things you have for lunch or dinner. Um, if you're a busy working professional, but you have big physique goals and big performance goals. So we're gonna start with the most boring option, which is boo, chicken and vegetables. However, uh, the basics work, right? If, it's, if, it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So chicken breast with vegetables is always a great option for lunch or dinner, right? If you have a grill, you can throw the chicken on the grill. Um, you can do you know, fresh vegetables in the air fryer. If you have to, you can do frozen vegetables. Um, but again, the, the value of this meal is it's going to be very satiating, right? That's kind of the trick in the food industry and with dieting is, you know, we could go to a, a you know, I'm not going to call out a specific fast food joint on camera for all the millions of followers, but, um, you know, we could go to a local fast food place, crush a cheeseburger and a milkshake and fries and like be hungry an hour later, right? And it's really weird. It's because the high sugar and high fat content kind of triggers this cycle where our hunger hormones get kicked back on. Whereas you can eat a big plate of vegetables and chicken breast, and while it's fairly bland, um, it's really gonna keep you full. So um, you can dress the vegetables up however you like. Don't go crazy with the sh high sugar sauces, the teriyaki and stuff like that. Um, but there's a lot of things you can do to make this meal better. But I just wanted to mention kind of the basics, chicken and vegetables. Um, and again, if you're looking for a little more calories, you can throw some sweet potato in there. You can throw some rice in there, some quinoa things like that, um, but it's, it's a really good option. And chicken breast is good because it's lean. Almost everybody digests chicken pretty well. Of course, if you are a vegetarian or vegan, um, you might want to find a plant-based alternative. Uh, but if you do eat meat, if you do eat uh, white meat, chicken breast and vegetables are, are a staple. Number two is gonna be uh, a turkey wrap, right? And uh, again, turkey is kind of like chicken in that it's, it's a white meat, it's very lean. It's not very fatty and it's going to be high in protein. Um, so you can make a simple wrap, you know, you can use a, a, a vegetable wrap like this, you can use a whole grain wrap. Um, this one is great because it's got a little bit of protein per serving, no fat, no cholesterol, so it's a very, uh, very uh, healthy and nutrient dense uh, covering for your wrap. We're going to use a hickory smoked turkey breast, it doesn't really matter what kind of turkey you use. Um, again, everybody can make their own decision as to you want to get the highest end you know, organic deli grade turkey or if you want to get you know, like the turkey from the grocery store uh, at the end of the day eating a turkey wrap is a good option um, maybe maybe it's going to make a little difference if it's organic versus this or that but really it's more about the nutrient content and the calories and making wise food options and eating things that your body is going to uh, digest and absorb well and is not going to trigger a blood sugar response or an endocrine response that's going to put you in a cycle of being hungry and craving. Um, and then you can put some cheese on there as well, right? Um, again, the decision on the cheese, the type of cheese, is going to come down to your to your uh, body composition goals. So if you're somebody that wants to gain a little bit of weight, or you're a larger person, or you're an athlete, go ahead and put some you know put some full fat cheese on there, right? It's it's high protein calories. You get some fat. It's going to add to the satiation of the meal, so it's going to make you more full. Um, again, as long as it's not fried or it's not cooked in oil or something like that, um, there's nothing inherently wrong with cheese, right? As long as you can digest dairy, fine. It's no big deal. Okay? So that's number two. Um, of course, we do want to potentially include some vegetables in there. Spinach, kale, lettuce, tomato, um, olives, onions, peppers. Any, anything you can do to, to shove some vegetables in your diet is generally going to be a good thing. Um, unless you really, really are trying to gain weight and then you want to sort of eat enough vegetables to meet your daily requirements for the vitamins and minerals. You may not want to go overboard on vegetables because they're satiating, right? Because they're going to make you full. And if you're trying to gain weight, you don't always want to be super full. You want to have more room to eat a little more protein or a little more carbohydrates. The third option is going to be a farm to fork meal. So shout out farm to fork. Uh, they're a local uh, food vendor. They do these pre-made meals. They have the calories and the macro content on here as well as the ingredients. Um, I've been using these meals for a long time, almost a year now. I've been eating farm to fork meals. Uh, they have a lot of variety. They have breakfast, lunch, and dinner options. Um, and so I would highly encourage you guys, especially if you're a really busy professional, but you have really strong you know, gym and performance goals, 
um, maybe get involved with a local meal company. If you're here in South Florida, I think Farm to Fork does an excellent job. I know there's some, there's some national companies, there's some, some other local companies that do it. Um, but I think these meals can be very affordable and they can be used very wisely. Right? Um, as much as cooking is fun, and you know, I enjoy cooking as well, but uh, sometimes it's really tough. If you're you know, sort of working all day, you're trying to get in enough calories, you've got other things to take care of. Um, the ability to just throw a meal in the microwave or throw a meal on the stove um, and eat something healthy and know exactly the amount of calories that you're getting um, is, very, is really invaluable. So um, you know, if it's something that you can afford and it's aligned with your goals, I think that some type of meal prep service or pre-prepared meal can be a really, really good option um, if you're not able to do it. So again, guys, these are just three options here. Um, and you can swap things out. Uh, you know, if you would prefer fish, if you want to do salmon or whitefish, um, even if you want to do some red meat, you know, the turkey breast here. Uh, as far as the deli meat, I think turkey's a really good option. I do think that you know, the sort of salamis, pepperonis, cold cuts out there uh, tend to be much higher in fat, a little bit lower in protein, and really just less nutrient dense. So I think for most people, you should probably stick to a turkey or chicken breast type of meal. Again, unless you're a vegetarian and you have falafel, hummus, you have other vegetable-based options. Um, and then a local meal prep company. I know, for example, Farm to Fork does uh, vegetarian meals. They do paleo meals. They do uh, full-calorie, like, performance meals like this, which is what I do. So uh, most meal prep companies will be able to tailor things to your needs as well. And at the end of the day, they're, they're more affordable than people think. I think uh, nowadays with the way grocery bills are expanding, uh, these companies actually are very affordable. It's not uh, uh, its not as much of an extravagant luxury as it might seem. Even though it's super convenient, um, it's also really affordable, particularly uh, farm to fork. Um, so the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about um, is hydration really quick. Uh, because hydration is a, I, my practice is in South Florida. I am like always sweating because it's super, super hot down here year round. It's September right now and it's super hot. Um, and so a lot of times we're losing water in the form of sweat, particularly if you're, you know, if you're doing jiu-jitsu, if you're doing Muay Thai, if you're doing Mary's Boot Camp at 45 and going to these classes, you're going to be sweating a ton. Unless the place is extremely well ventilated, you're going to be sweating a lot. Uh, and one of the things people don't necessarily think about is not just losing water, but also you're going to lose some minerals when you sweat, uh, particularly electrolytes. And I know when people think of electrolytes, they typically think about Gatorade. Gatorade does have some electrolytes in it. However, Gatorade also has a lot of sugar in it. So Gatorade is a good option if you are maybe, uh, you know, let's say that you're a football player and you're practicing outside of Miami and you need to get a little bit of sugar and a little bit of electrolytes. Gatorade is not all bad, but it's probably something that most people could do without. It's probably not something that most people need to be consuming a lot of. It's really designed for high level athletes, burning tons of calories that need quick hits of sugar. So if you're working out for more than 90 minutes in one session, then you can start incorporating Gatorade. But if you're just doing a, you know, a local class at a gym, you're probably not burning through enough sugar and calories to justify a like, like Gatorade, for example. Uh, but a product that I really, really like is the Element Electrolyte Drink Mix. Um, and I know that this company has gained a lot of uh, notoriety recently through the Huberman podcast and through the Joe Rogan experience. Um, but I've tried a lot of electrolyte products. And to me, this is not only the most delicious, but it's the only one that I actually felt a difference in my energy and in my mood and in my quality of sleep from taking. So I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, but I highly, highly recommend Element. And if you're a patient of mine, I probably mentioned Element to you before. Um, the benefit of the electrolytes is that it's going to help uh, hydrate you better by replenishing something that you've lost through sweating. So for a long time, for me personally, I was having trouble. I was waking up and I wasn't feeling rested. I was getting enough sleep and I was waking up in the middle of the night and guzzling water and still waking up and I'm thirsty. As soon as I started adding element every single morning and rehydrating myself and, and replenishing my electrolytes, um, I felt more energized first thing in the morning and I also felt less uh, sort of panicking and thirsty. Um, like a thirst that I wasn't able to quench because my body, what it was really craving was the sodium and the electrolytes. So again, this is a really, really good option um, if you're somebody that is very active and sweats a lot. It's not always necessary to consume a tremendous amount of electrolytes. If you're not super physically active or if you're not sweating frequently, but certainly if you're in South Florida, you're doing CrossFit, if you're working out, you're doing martial arts, um, and you're, you know, if you 
finish your workout and you could wring out your shirt like a towel, um, I think Element would help you a lot. And you'd be shocked at how just replenishing electrolytes really is going to enhance your mood, enhance your energy, because it's giving your body the fuel that it needs to function at an optimal level. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed In the Kitchen with Dr. Will. If you'd like to see more videos like this and me getting outside the office into the real world, talking about the things that I do to keep myself healthy, uh, please drop a comment and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Next month, we're going to see you back at the clinic for some more chiropractic content. So, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.